Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Fore. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the Pythagoras theorem. This is a very important theorem used when you are working with right angle triangle. Remember, a triangle is right angled if one of its angles is 90 degrees. For us to know how this theorem works, it is important to understand what we call the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. When you have a right angle triangle, the longest side of the triangle is called the hypotenuse. As you can see in this diagram, it happens to be the longest side. This moment, we are going to apply the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse. When you are given the shorter sides of a triangle, which is right angled, you can apply this theorem which says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In this case, a and b are the shorter sides of the triangle, while c is the longest side of this triangle. In this moment, we are now going to substitute the value of a and b. So, 8 will be our a and b will be 6. Remember, this can actually interchange. You can have b as 8 and a as 6 as long as they are the shorter sides. As you substitute, we are now going to have 8 squared and then plus 6 squared. That gives us c squared. When you square the two sides, you will now get 64 plus 36, which gives us 100. So c squared is equal to 100. To find the value of c, we need now to square root 100 to get c, which gives us 10. So the value of c, according to the Pythagoras theorem, is 10. Now, using this formula, I want you to solve the following questions. Pause the video and work out the length of the missing side, which is the hypotenuse. Substitute and find your answers. It's time to reveal. I want you to self-assess, mark your work, and see if this is correct. If you didn't round your work, it doesn't matter. Just check and see if the values are the same. Where you have made a mistake, try to rewind this video and listen again on how you can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find the hypotenuse side. You are having this triangle where you are given the hypotenuse and one shorter side. When you have this situation, remember always the longer side is your C and the shorter side B and the other one. So you will subtract b squared on each side and then you will end up with a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Given this arrangement, we are now going to simply substitute 3 and 5 in our expression to find our answer. So to substitute, we will now have 5 squared minus 3 squared, which gives us 25 minus 9. So a squared is equal to 16. To find the value of a, we are supposed to do the opposite of square, which is the square root. So square root of 16 is equal to 4. By this we mean if we take 4 and square, we will get 16. Because 4 squared is equal to 16. So this is the method which you use to find the missing shorter side. So in this session, I want you again to pause this video and calculate the missing side. Remember, you are going to rearrange, so you will only substitute in the rearranged formula, just like we have done in the previous example, and find the values of x. So pause this video and work out. When you are done, play it again. Welcome back. It's time to review the answers. These must be the answers for the four questions. Please mark your work and make corrections where you might have made a mistake. It's a pleasant day. It's simply mathematics. Pythagoras 
it's the way to go please like the video below post a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and share the channel link with your friends a pleasant day to you